and the fifth one is other mineral cycle. Apart from carbon, nitrogen and oxygen, there are many other minerals that are essential for plant and animal life. Here we have the names of those minerals, phosphorus, sulphur, calcium and potassium. These minerals are essential nutrients for plants and animals because it plays a critical role in cell development and it is a key component of molecules that store energy. However, they are secondary nutrients because plants require them in smaller quantities when compared to carbon, nitrogen and oxygen. If you look at these minerals, they usually occur in rocks. Over time, rain and wind cause rocks to release these minerals. Now these inorganic minerals are then distributed in soil and water. Plants take up these inorganic minerals from the soil. The plants are then consumed by animals. Once the plants and animals consume these minerals, these minerals they are now incorporated into their organic molecules such as DNA. When plants or animals die, it decays, these minerals become organic and they return to the soil. So it is the bacteria that converts these inorganic minerals that come initially from rocks into organic minerals which are then consumed by plants and animals. And when the plants and animals die, bacteria break down these organic minerals again into inorganic form. This process is known as mineralization. And that's how these inorganic minerals end up in soil, river and ocean. So far we have learned about the water cycle, the carbon cycle, the oxygen cycle, the nitrogen cycle and other mineral cycles. So all these cycles collectively come under biogeochemical cycles and they have been broadly categorized under gaseous and sedimentary cycle.